welcome. My name is Brittany Chisholm, and I'm a homeschool mom of two beautiful daughters. I am also a Homeworks by Precept consultant here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Um, but in today's video, I am going to give you some information about Science 2, the 5th edition. Um, so this is going to be your look inside the book. Um, Science 2 has some great um, information in it. It is super cool pictures throughout as well. Um, but I actually taught this course this year with my oldest. Um, and we've really, really enjoyed it. I think we have about a month left in it. Um, so we choose with our science and our history as they are semester courses. Um, so we, some people do history, you know, one semester and then science one semester, or they do them all together. We choose to do science two days a week and history two days a week. Um, this just allows her to focus a little bit more and then not get bored um, between the two. It allows her to go back and forth. Um, so we previous had done it where we did history the first semester and science the second semester, but for her learning abilities, we found that this works the best. Um, and we may have to tweak that a little bit with our youngest when she gets to that point. But for us, we do science two days a week and history two days a week. And we have more extracurricular activities on Mondays, so we don't do history or science on Mondays. Um, but I hope you get all kinds of information um, from this look inside the book. Um, and I am looking forward to seeing the Science 2 5th edition on videos, hopefully soon. Um, and maybe I'll get to use the video portion of it with my youngest. Um, but it has been an awesome course to be able to teach parent-led. Um, and I know when they do the video course, it's going to be fantastic. Um, so um, some things that um, you may need in Science 2. You'll need pencils, paper clips, um, rubber bands, magnets, maybe a magnifying glass. Um, so that's just some fun things you might need. But I hope you enjoy this look inside the book. Science 2. 5th edition. Here we have our teacher's edition. This is going to be your contents page, which is going to show you the lesson plans. It's going to tell you how many units and how many chapters and what that chapter is going to cover. So there are a total of ch um, 12 chapters, 3 units, and then it also tells you here your teacher resources. Um, so you're going to have explaining the gospel, you're going to have some scheduling, teaching a text lesson, materials list, a game bank, and then you'll have your student edition index and your teacher's edition index. Um, so that is it for the contents page. Then you're going to move and we're going to have the next section, which is uh, for the teacher, Biblical Worldview Shaping. This is a really important page. Um, it's going to cover why people are important, where did our world come from and how it has changed um, with history of nature. It's also going to cover why do things work together in nature, the order in nature, and why science is important, the purpose of science. Um, and then on this side you'll have the biblical worldview shaping scope and sequence. So it'll tell you the chapter, where did our world come from and how it has changed, um, it'll tell you how those are divided into the units. And then here is the key that's just going to tell you um, that the R is meaning recall biblical teaching science details. E is for explain biblical teaching science concepts. EV, evaluate controversial concepts. F is for formulate a biblical understanding of a controversial concept. And A is to apply this biblical understanding to life. And then here on this page, you're going to have the building academic rigor with science too. So well, number one, we'll show you the desired learning outcomes. What do I want students to learn? Teaching and learning supports. How will I help students learn? And then three, the evidence of understanding. How do I know if students have learned? So then over here, you'll have a panorama of the academic rigor It'll go over the learning environment, the teacher's role, and the learning experience. Then this page is going to be super important. It tells you about the course objectives. 
um, that they're going to analyze the changes in motion of matter and the structure of Earth and the importance of the Earth's natural resources. Um, and I'm just going to read a few of these. Um, but also defend a biblical view of history of nature and apply the Bible's teaching to science concepts. Um, so this is going to give you a great summary of the course objectives for science too. And then on this page here, we've got assessments and grading. So you'll have, if you were doing an investigation rubric, changing a solid. So it gives you all the details there that you need um, as far as if it was teamwork, the attitude, um, participation participation and the procedure and you predict, observe, and infer and then the scientific method and it gives you points on how to grade it and then here's your points earned and you'll put your total. And then up here it's giving you, you know, the percentage they think for written work for your test, for participation, and then for your investigation and um, explorations and STEM projects. Um, so it goes over a little bit more detail of all of those things here. We have our instructional materials, so it shows you that you've got um, your student book, and then you've also got the activities and the activity answer key, then you're going to have your teacher's edition and your test and test assessments. Um, so that goes over the information there for you. And then on this one, you're going to have new to this edition. With this being the fifth edition, the layout has changed some. It's going to go over that here with you. Um, it's also going to give you some information about those teacher tools um, that are in the back of the teacher's edition. And so this page is super helpful, especially if you are doing parent-led. Um, so we'll go on to the next section here. And here it's just showing you the activity features and how it's going to be laid out. Um, so you'll have your Bible verse, you've got your worldview with the graphic organizers, then you've got a study guide. Um, it also shows you how they lay out the exploration page and the investigation page and then your STEM page. Um, it goes into a little bit of detail in the bubbles um, there for you. And then on this next one, it's just talking about some of the features that you have in the teacher's edition. So I highly recommend to look over these definitely prior to starting teaching this course, just so you can get familiar with how everything is laid out. Um, and then here is where we get into your lesson planning. This is super, super important, and this is where I go for a lot of information because it just has it all there for you. I mean, you don't have to keep flipping back and forth, but it's gonna tell you what lesson you're on, what pages in your teacher's edition you're gonna need, what pages for your student edition, and then the pages for your activities. And here it's going to give you a little bit of information as far as what you're needing. Um, but these are super, super helpful. Um, I use this a lot. I highlight in mine um, and make this super helpful. Sometimes I'll use a pencil mark once we've completed that section. That way if I want to go back and erase it, I can for the next student. Um, Again, this is just showing you more detail over the chapters and the lessons so you have all the information here for you. Okay, so now I've skipped here to Unit 2 just to show you a little bit of how it's laid out. So you've got Unit 2. We're talking about Earth and Space. There's a section here for you to make notes. Um, and then it's just kind of going over, you know, let's explore Earth and Space. What do you see in the picture? When can you see the sun? When can you see the stars? Um, and when can you see the moon? Those are some of the questions that it gives you as far as asking your students um, about that. Um, so then, big question, how does the earth move in the solar system? And it's going to give you some more questions over here. It's going to give you your chapter objective, your lesson objective. Um, it tells you your Bible verse and your visuals for your teacher resources. And then it also gives you some vocabulary. So it goes over your chapter introduction here. Um, and then this is starting on to chapter five on how the earth moves. I have moved on to the back of the teacher's edition where your teacher resources are. Um, and it's going to give you the um, pages that you need to know where everything is at. Um, so it talks about explaining the gospel, which is super, super helpful. Um, I always try to recommend to at least go over this, but this is a great thing to refer through out the year. Um, with your kids when they have questions. Um, and then this goes over, you know, scheduling and the teaching a text lesson. Um, it's got the vocabulary and some resources and some materials, but this will actually tell you where to find all of that information in here. 
It goes over the science inquiry skills for observe, measure using numbers, infer, classify, predict, and communicate. And then here you've got your materials list, which you've got your standard science, supplies, basic supplies, um, your mass and weight to dry measurement, and then your volume. So it gives you that breakdown there for that. And then here you've got your teacher resources and items needed for chapter one. It's going to go over chapter two, then you've got chapter three, and then it moves on to chapter four and chapter five. There's chapter six and chapter seven, chapters eight and nine, and then 10 and 11, and lastly, chapter 12. Um, but see, it'll also tell you, you know, additional items you might need, two marshmallows, a paper cup, a hard plastic cup, heavy books, a stopwatch, or a clock with a second hand. So it's giving you um, everything you would need here, so that way you can be better prepared for the year. And then if you have a student who is a more visual learner, we've got our instructional aids back here. Um, these you can make copies and print them out. Um, again, you may not use these for every student. It honestly just depends on the student. And this tells you all your visuals. And I'm just kind of flipping through so you can have a general idea. But here again, it's going to go over those safety tips for you. And um, again, they'll have some of this in their student book and some of it in their activities book. But here is some extras if you need them. And then we're in the back. We've got the index. So it's going to tell you where to find. Um, if you're looking for a certain thing, you can go back here and look. You want to know where the astronaut page is, um, where it learns about the water cycle or creation. Um, you can come back to the index page and find all of that lovely information for you. So here we've got the Science 2 5th edition student textbook. Again, and you've got your contents page. It's going to be laid out real similar to how the teacher's edition is. Um, it's going to show you, you know, each unit and what chapters are in that unit. Um, so you'll find that information here. Chapter 1, what science is. So I'm just going to kind of flip through these just so you can see the layout here. Um, so it tells you we're on lesson 5. And then what is matter. So then you've got your investigation. These to me are really important just to keep the focus of the child. Um, you may not do every one of them, um, but if you have a student, you know, who is more of a visual learner or who really loves science and math, I highly recommend doing as many of these as possible. I'm kind of just going to flip through chapter three so you can get a look of what the full chapter will look like. And there's their investigation. From gases to a liquid and liquids to a solid. Again, you may not do every investigation project. You may just kind of talk through it, but I do feel those are highly important. You've got your STEM activity. Your STEM corner. And then that was it for chapter three. Okay, so I'm just going to start here, but each chapter will have a Bible verse here. We normally try to pull out um, our Bible verse. I either laminate it or I just sometimes staple it to our bulletin board. But that way we have it for the week, um, easy at our fingertips if we need to read through it multiple times. And then this one is just kind of talking about what the difference. There's some fill in the blanks and then some questions down here for them. Again, here's just another work text activity page. Then here's your study guide. We just use the study guide personally as a practice. Um, I don't grade the study guide, but to each their own. Um, everybody's preference is different. And then here's your exploration. And then here is the diagram. And they're talking about the seasons. And then here's the study guide for that one. And then here's your looking ahead. Um, a preview for chapter six and then it'll start you know back here's your next Bible verse and so on here is our science 2 fifth edition activities answer key it's gonna be laid out real similar to that activity um, work text that we just looked at um, so again here's your look ahead then you've got your Bible verse then you've got your answer key here 
And then you've got your investigation. It's going to go over your observation and your conclusions. There's your study guide. And again, one chapter may have more than the other. But then again, there's your study guide, a review. There's a STEM activity. And then again, here's your looking ahead for the next chapter with the next Bible verses for that one.